Hey y'all, welcome back to Johnson Branch Farm. And I am super excited because today is the reveal of the inside of our newly renovated single wide mobile home. I actually first saw this mobile home almost a year ago to the day that this video is being filmed. And when I first laid eyes on it, I thought this is never going to work. The outside looked way worse than the inside and given that first impression I thought man if the outside looks like that I can't even imagine what the inside's going to look like but thanks to convincing from some family we went ahead and saw the inside and realized that this place had loads of potential so when you first walked in the living room you can see the pink shag carpet the piano was laying on the floor from the move the walls were covered in a texture wallpaper the wood paneling you see on the walls was actually hiding quite a bit of mold and water damage. I wanted this home to feel warm and inviting when you first walked through the doors, which is not what you felt first impression wise when you first walked in before. I wanted flooring that was going to be warm and soothing along with a little pop of color. And I feel like we really captured that in this living room. Our plan still for the living room is to purchase a picture to go above the couch and to find some sort of repurposed dresser or cabinet that could be used for storage such as remotes and DVDs and those sort of things. One thing that does help out in the living room is that we have that trunk so I'm able to store books and blankets in that for now. For my daughter's room, I wanted something that she could grow into. I didn't want cutesy little nursery theme, but I wanted something that could grow with her through all stages of life and that could eventually be, be changed once she developed her own style and her own opinion. If you notice the quilt lying over her bed, that was given to me by a friend of mine's mother and I had to incorporate it into her room. That quilt actually set the theme for her entire room by adding in the purples and the grays and the white. The dresser was a repurposed dresser antique washstand that I actually ended up finding locally. The name Grace above her bed was gifted to us by a cousin who is a photographer and I'll link her shop down below. In the spare bathroom or the kids bathroom, I wanted to keep with the theme of a farm. This is eventually going to become a working farm and I wanted that to be captured throughout this home. The shower curtain I had made, we replanted the bathroom vanity as well as continued the same flooring throughout the house. The next room is the little boys room. Again, I wanted a room that they could grow into but still kept the spirit of what being a little boy is all about. They were excited to have one of their dad's deer heads hanging in their room. Again, their names are displayed above their bed, which were also a gift after they were each born by our same cousin. The dresser was another local find, an antique dresser that was repurposed. And since it's their room, their toys and their things are going to be scattered about. But I really did want to stay true to their personalities and what our lifestyle is all about. This room just required basic cosmetic renovations. We replaced the flooring, we repainted the walls in both bedrooms, and we as well had to repair different drywall issues along the way. But overall, I'm so excited with how these bedrooms turned out because I really feel like they do capture who our children are and who we are as a family. I wanted our bedroom to be warm and soft, not busy or over the top. I wanted it to be a place that was calming and relaxing that we could come after a long day. And I, again, am very pleased and excited to see that that whole vision really came to life. Most of the things in this room we already owned from a previous home or I picked up again along the way. 
My goal throughout this whole thing was to be as frugal as we could. I didn't want to spend over budget or go over the top with our decor because so much money had already been poured into this house. The bathroom was a complete remodel as well. I found this vanity at a local thrift store for $25. It came with the top, so all we had to purchase was the hardware to the sink and the paint to paint it. We purchased this cabinet on Amazon to give us more storage. The only complaint we've had about this home is its lack of storage. So we've had to be creative in what we're doing to get us extra storage. The dining room came out so cute. The curtains I purchased at a local thrift store, the table we already owned, and we do plan on repurposing that one as well, either painting it or staining it or replacing the top. We're still not quite sure which direction we're gonna go on that, but we know it's not gonna stay the color that it is right now. To my most favorite room of the house and probably where I spend the most time each day, the kitchen. I would have loved to have done the white cabinets, light colors, but with three small kids and living in the country, I just knew white cabinets wouldn't last. So we decided to go bold and decided to go with a big pop of color, which is where the blue came in. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work, but I had taken a trip to Florida and my husband went ahead and painted the cabinets and we ended up loving them. We had to shift cabinets to get the refrigerator in. We had to replace all of the plumbing. We recovered the countertops in new laminate as well as replaced the sink with a much bigger sink. We are so thrilled with the overall, overall look of this space that it feels like every time we walk in, we tell ourselves, man, I cannot believe how this turned out. This house has exceeded every one of our expectations. When we first saw the home, we really weren't sure what we were getting into, as with any renovation. But now looking back on this last year, we are confident that we did make the right decision financially for our family. Thank you so much for following along on this journey with us and for seeing it through. We're so excited to show you what else we've got in mind for this channel and for our family this year.